first off, let's look at a couple of key differences between Hero and Nuke Studio. The first difference is that in Nuke Studio, we have a nodal compositing tool set right inside of the application. This means we not only have the timeline application portion, but we also have NukeX running inside the program with access to all of the NukeX toolset. The second key difference is that we have additional soft effects, which are timeline effects, exclusive to Nuke Studio. These are Create Comp and Create Comp Special. This allows us to select footage and create a Nuke script directly in the timeline, which automatically creates a track in a comp container. Now, this is an important feature that we'll need to take an in-depth look into at a later time. Now let's have a look at Hero Player. Hero Player is a desktop review tool that lets you play back timelines from Hero and Nuke Studio. You can think of this as an artist-friendly version of a timeline application where the artist can see the sequence that they're working on in context and quickly compare multiple versions of their work before submitting it for review. There are some key differences for Hero Player versus Nuke Studio and Hero. For example, you aren't meant to online or conform inside of Hero Player, so that means you won't be able to import an EDL, XML, or AAF, or use the export structure that Nuke Studio and Hero have. You also won't have the spreadsheet view that the other two applications have. You can open Nuke Studio and Hero projects. The interface highlight color will be blue, and that indicates that the project is read-only. You can't delete clips or bins or shots and make edits to the timeline when the highlight is blue. You can, however, drag source clips onto new tracks in the timeline. If you modify the project this way, you can save the work by saving it as a player project. For a full detailed comparison between the applications, you can just head over to our website and then go to the Hero page, Features, and you'll see a detailed list of all the differences between Hero Player, Hero, and Nuke Studio. Now, who would be using these different applications? So first, let's talk about Nuke Studio. In many cases, you see supervisor and department leads using it. VFX supervisors, comp supervisors, 3D supervisors, they can all benefit from Nuke Studio. It's also very helpful if the leads have access to it. The 3D supervisor can be using it to view sequences, to view and compare different versions of the 3D work that's being done. They can mark up the timeline to see the progression or statuses of sequence and shots. They can annotate on the shots and the artist can address these notes. Another nice aspect is that they can be communicating through the timeline with other departments. Slap comps for the lighting department can be procedurally generated for 3D artists to check their work. In many studio, lighting artists have access to Nuke where they can go in and tweak the lighting based on these slap comps. On the 2D side of things, a VFX supervisor can be using Nuke Studio to see notes from other departments. They can be leaving notes for the comp supervisor, leads, any general or project notes. They can quickly do any keying in the timeline for producers and directors to better understand the context of sequences. They can also see any new media being brought into the project, maybe new plates, new shots, maybe they're adding it. Compositing supervisors would have Nuke Studio where they can also view notes and statuses from other departments, marking up shots with specific direction for the artists. They can create comps with all the necessary media for the artists. They can view different comp versions and explore the artist's comps directly from the timeline for QA and troubleshooting. Another important thing that all departments using Nuke Studio can do is use the export functionality that's built in to have Nuke Studio distribute media into the pipeline at any stage of production. The people using Nuke Studio usually need access to the node graph, even if it's minimal. Also, depending on the studio structure, sometimes one of the positions mentioned are running the review session. Now this way, any compositing tweaks that can be made during the review session can be done on the fly and automatically updated into the timeline. Now those are some examples, and we can see that Nuke Studio covers a broad area of the pipeline. Now let's talk about Hero. Hero is great for VFX editors and project coordinators to bring in media from the editorial department. They can distribute the plates, renders, update the timeline with the new shots and renders, just like Nuke Studio, they can make sure the timeline is up to date with the newest versions of the edit, the shots, and also distribute media into the pipeline. They can leave annotations and notes and also create Nuke scripts if necessary from an export function. Whomever is running the review session, maybe it's a VFX editor using Hero, if they run the review session and don't have compositing experience, rather the review session is all about viewing and annotating the shots, in this case Hero would make sense. Now in some cases, producers and directors also like having access to heroes. They can view the edit and shots and versions that the artists are working on and they can make notes and annotations to shots in the timeline. So generally with Hero, we see people that are not going to need access to compositing, so having access to NukeX wouldn't be necessary. In this case, it makes sense for them to run Hero. Hero Player is suited for artists. 
We spoke about this earlier and it becomes a daily tool for artists where they can review their work in context. So whether it's an animator who wants to view all their shots in sequence, a lighter that wants to make sure the continuity is there between their shots, compositors that need to view the edit and how their shots are maintaining continuity within the edit, a key feature that Hero Player shares with all the other applications is the ability to quickly switch versions of the shots and review your work before submitting it for approval. So all three applications have their place in the pipeline and hopefully that gives a better understanding of where they sit. 